Elections of 1858. The Prussian elections of 1858 have taken place and the final results came in a few minutes ago. Our current minister-president, Otto Theodor von Mantufel, is to be replaced with Karl Anton von Hohenzollern. There's also been an unexpected wave of liberalism in the country, and it seems like this ideology is on the rise for now. Damn liberals. Okay. Uh, he held a speech, the people will love it. Now that they have left is, uh, wait, okay, well, I, I was just going to say all they have left is the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, and nope, they got another one. The Regency of Prince Wilhelm. Due to the health status of our current regent, Frederick Wilhelm IV, his successor, Prince Wilhelm I, has been assigned with the task of a regency in Prussia for now. At least it will stabilize the situation a bit. Oh, yeah. No opposition left. The opposition to the current gov governing body of the Kingdom of Prussia is now de facto non-existent. Every single politician supports us, or at least is not against us, made the, making the political climate in our country very relaxed. The Kingdom of Prussia is great. I am great. Let's shoot something here. Hmm. Uh. Wait, why would I get this? Mechanical engineering research time, plus 5%. Why would I get that? That's crap. I'm going to hold off on any of that stuff. Too confusing. Civil War in Mexico. Yeah, they have a history of that, don't they? Napoleon III, attack with a bomb. How about the French Empire react? Oh yeah, they're still an empire, aren't they? Yeah, Napoleon III. Yeah, look at their focus tree. Botswana? No. Um... Yeah, things just sort of seem to just sort of happen in in Africa. So many tiny nations. Caliphate. Huh. A royal marriage. Prince Wilhelm Frederick of Prussia and Princess Victoria of England married today. This will benefit our nation and the Hohenzollern dynasty. Plus, it will improve our relations with the United Kingdom. Enjoy the honeymoon.
Okay, now Mexico is uh, traditional conservative. Uh, let's get some hygiene. Let's get some goddamn soap up in Prussia. Some copper salt pesticides. I thought the Russians had this. Yeah, that's always been a problem for Russia. Oh, they become the British Mandate of India. Puppet. Uh, cotton. I got too much cotton. Where's cotton? There's cotton. Guessing that'll complete automatically then. Uh, what's that focus I need? H O C H H O C H. Right there. Yeah, let's try and get to that then. Maybe I should build some ships. I only got one dockyard, though. What do I have for Navy, anyway? I got, uh... 15 Corvettes.
Oh yeah, and that's, oh yeah, and and this time, um, Sweden was really big, and Norway was really non-existent. Carl Anton von Oh wait. and hold speech. Uh yeah, I've seen that before. Always holding that speech, is he? Well, I can hold the world's fair. Hmm. I don't really know what that does. Orders with international recognition and prestige. What's this right here? Montenegro. The city free here. What is it? Samos. Oh, they're a fucking. Uh, what is that? A Yalit? They're an A Yalit of the Ottomans. Oh, and the Ionian Islands are a colony of Britain. Well, I imagine Greece is going to want those back. There's a lot Greece wants back. Hmm. Wonder. Does Greece have a focus tree? Oh, first I got it first I gotta do stuff in my film history. Ah, wonderful. I no longer get that effect.
The Transatlantic Telegraph. An impressive feat. Ah, they finally won. The Koenig Brewery. Theodore Koenig has recently seen large success with his brewery, the Koenig Brewery. Opening just a few days ago in Duisburg, they brew quality beer in the Pilsner style. Order a tasting beer for the ministry. Gotta get that German beer. Delegates from Moldavia have arrived. Delegates from Moldavia have arrived complaining about the Ottomans ignoring the accusations of vote rigging. How shall we respond? Hmm, if I recall correctly, nobody likes the Ottomans in this time period. Back the call. Hit a thing, right? I think I did a thing. It's got an electric telegraph.
Hmm. China's not doing a very good job at containing them over here. Constantin Bernard von Vogtretz becomes general. Wunderbar. The Russians have declared war on the Jewish people. I don't know, they were Dominion. Hmm. Oh, they're a Dominion as well. Very interesting. Well, I got more tabs here than I thought. Okay, well, those are space program. <laughs> what do they have planned for this mod? Oh, I don't. Um. Vice Chief of Army. Okay. I don't know what I don't know what filling those out does exactly. I'm gonna pretend like I know what it does and just leave it.
Maybe I should build something. Like some troops. But what do I build? Let's just, I don't know, build some infantry. One inf- Let's build some infantry, I guess. Just enough to fill these two out. To 24. Research open. Now, let's see what happens when we host a world fair. Begin the world fair preparations. The necessary paperwork has been filed out, and the host city is now ready to take on the task to prepare the upcoming World Fair. For the next five months, we must take the necessary decisions in order to make the World Fair as successful as possible. Very nice. Uh, review the main buildings. Designing the main buildings. An important part of our World Fair is designing the main buildings in an adequate fashion. We can always choose to focus on style and hire the top architects in order to impress the visitors. Or alternatively, we can focus on using the newest technology and construction materials to impress the world with our industrial achievements. Lastly, if we have a lot of money and resources, we can opt to make the venues as lavish as possible. Though the aesthetic and technological values of this may be questionable. Uh, materials and technology. 